Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the Huion Inspiroid Jano G930 L Pen Tablet. This is one of the largest pen tablets from Huion and one of the largest pen tablets currently in the market. The drawing surface area is 13.6 inches by 8.5 inches and the diagonal is 16 inches. So this is how big it is compared to the 17 inch display that I have behind me. The price, US $199. So this tablet is actually designed for use together with large monitors. And in my opinion, this tablet pairs well with displays or monitors that are 20 inches or larger. So my review is going to be quite long. If you want to save time, you can check out the text review that I have already written or use the timestamps provided to jump to different sections of this video. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by Huion, but all the opinions are my own. And just to give you the bottom line up front, this is a beautiful tablet with solid build quality and fantastic drawing performance. Downsides, battery life is rated at 18 hours, more on that later. And the pen doesn't have an eraser. By the way, I'm just nitpicking because I don't really have many or any bad things to say about this. Tablet. Let's look at the items included in the box. There is a 1.5 meter long USB Type A to Type C cable, a pen stand, the Huion PW517 pen, quick start guide, and one artist glove. This pen stand can hold the pen horizontally and vertically. And beneath the stand, there is this rubber with good grip on the table. And Inside the pen stand, there are 10 replacement pen nibs and a nib remover. The Huion PW517 is a comfortable pen to hold with a huge rubber grip. It's lightweight and has solid build quality. The two side buttons have firm clicking feedback and they are customizable. The pen supports tilt and slightly over 8000 levels of pressure sensitivity. There is minimal to no movement with the pen tip. So this is the Huion Inspiro Jano G930L wireless pen tablet and it's huge as you can see. The width is about 42 centimeters or 16.5 inches and the height is about 10 inches or 26 centimeters. The drawing surface area is 13.6 inches by 8.5 inches and the diagonal is 16 inches. Build quality is solid and this is quite thin. This is slightly thinner than the included pen. Diagonal of the whole tablet including the non-drawing area is 19 inches. There is one small LCD display here which will show you some information which I will talk more about later. Six customizable side buttons with firm clicking feedback. There is a piece of plastic on this surface and it's not very obvious. I only notice it because there are some scratches on the surface. So this plastic is to protect the actual surface beneath it. If you want to, you can remove it. On the left side of the tablet near the top is the power button and this is the Bluetooth pairing button. And at the top here is the USB-C charging port. On the LCD, we can see the battery indicator, Bluetooth connection, and the pen or button indicator. The matte textured surface feels really nice for drawing. You can hear it for yourself. For an even better tactile drawing experience, you can consider buying the Huion felt pen nibs. They are 10 US dollars for 10 pieces. The back has this cool gray matte textured surface with a shiny Huion logo. I'm not sure if this is metal or plastic, but build quality is very solid with minimal flex when you press on it. There are four rubber feet and at the top here you see this design with parallel diagonal lines. This pen tablet will pair better with displays that are, in my opinion, at least 20 inches or larger. So in this case, with a 13.3 inch display, this pairing or combination 
is not ideal because this pen tablet is designed and made at this size so that it can be paired with larger monitors. The other thing to note is since this is so big, it's going to take up a lot of space on the table. So make sure you have enough table space for your laptop or for your keyboard or mouse and other things you have on the table. Let's see what we can do with the driver. This is the Mac OS driver. Windows driver are of course available as well. There are no Linux drivers and at the time of making this review, these are the Huion products that have Linux drivers. So if you use Linux, consider these products instead. So the Mac OS and Windows driver should have very similar functionality except with the Windows driver there is the addition of Windows Ink which you may have to toggle on or off if pressure sensitivity is not working as expected. So this is where you can customize the six physical shortcut buttons on the side. You can enter your own keyboard shortcut, you can choose mouse uh, clicks, and you can switch uh, display. If you are using multiple displays, you can have it switch screen here. And all these are the pre-programmed shortcuts that you can choose from, including media playback. There is precision mode. When you go into precision mode, there will be this highlighted area. And inside this area, the cursor will move much slower, allowing you to draw with greater control. If you don't want to use the physical shortcut buttons, you can switch them off here. At the bottom right side, you can see the battery indicator and Bluetooth connection. Anyway, when the tablet is not connected via Bluetooth to your computer, the driver will not show. So this is the work area. By default, the drawing surface area is mapped to the whole display. And if you are a left-handed user, you can change the orientation 180 degrees here so that the physical shortcut buttons are on the right side. The LCD display will also change its orientation. Under digital pen, this is where you can customize the side buttons on the pen. When I'm using dual displays, I have one of the pen buttons set to switch screen so that I can move the cursor from one display to the other. There is the mouse mode here. If you want to use your pen as a mouse. And under pressure setting, you can adjust the pressure sensitivity curve manually. There are three control points for finer adjustments. Or you can just choose one of the five presets here. This is a very sensitive pen. If you want to create shortcut sets for different software, you can do so here. Just add the program you want. Maybe you want to create a group of shortcuts for Photoshop. You can add Photoshop here. And another group of shortcuts for Illustrator, you can add it here as well. If for some reason you want to uninstall and reinstall the driver, you can make a backup of all your shortcuts here. Let's have some line quality test. Initial activation force of the pen is minimal. You can draw thin lines very easily by applying almost no pressure. As long as the pen touches the drawing surface, you can draw thin lines. And this pen is very sensitive, so you can draw thin lines, have it become thick, and go back to the very thin lines very easily. The strokes taper very beautifully, very smoothly, and to a sharp point. And this is me trying to maintain consistent pressure to draw lines with consistent width. And I can do so very easily. And you can draw dots by tapping on the tablet and you can get pressure sensitivity as well. I'm using a tilt brush now. So to get the cursor to follow the direction of the pen, you have to tap once on the tablet. And now you can see the cursor is following the direction of the pen. And tilt sensitivity works fine. 
So if I lift the pen away and move the pen to the tablet, you can see the cursor is straight again. You don't actually have to tap once to set or reset the cursor, you can just start drawing. It's just that if you want to see the cursor follow the direction of the pen first before you draw, just tap once, at least with this software, Krita. Let's talk about the drawing experience. So currently I'm using a 17-inch display. And remember the diagonal for this is 16 inches so there isn't much difference between 16 and 17 inches so when i draw a line on the tablet the length of this line is going to be very similar to the length of the line on the display at this size it's easier to get used to the hand-eye coordination when the size of the tablet is not too different compared to the size of the display all right let's draw something this pen is wonderful to work with. It's very sensitive. I can draw thin and thick lines very easily. Pressure sensitivity works great. Initial activation force is minimal, very low, and the pen is great at detecting minor changes to pressure when you are applying very light pressure. So I can draw thin lines really easily. And due to the size of the tablet, it's very easy to get used to the hand-eye coordination. I'm actually not using the shortcut buttons on the tablet because I prefer to use my keyboard shortcuts. The drawing performance is very predictable, very consistent. There are no surprises when drawing. And the lines, they always come out the way I expect them to. It's definitely very easy to get used to the hand-eye coordination. And this is easier. I mean, a tablet at this size, it's easier to use compared to a tablet that is smaller. Because again, as mentioned earlier, when you make small movements, your small movement with your hand will translate to a small movement on the display so it makes it easier more natural to draw the lines that you want to draw this tablet only connects with bluetooth so if your computer does not have bluetooth you will need to buy a bluetooth receiver This tablet does not come with any wireless USB receiver. If you want to, you can actually choose a big brush and use that single brush size to draw your whole drawing. And you can vary the brush size very easily with the pen pressure because the pen is so sensitive. So for this second shoe that I have, I'm drawing it with the same brush as earlier, but with much lighter pressure to get the slightly thinner lines. Right, let's color this. I hope I have closed up all the gaps. Let's draw the threads. So this is very good. This is very predictable performance. When I'm drawing, I'm not thinking about the tablet at all. I'm just trying my best to make this sketch as accurate as the reference photo. So that's what I'm thinking about. Which is great because um, when you're using your tool, you shouldn't be thinking about your tool. Your tool should just be an extension, in this case, for your hand. Let's draw some pattern at the front. So this is the same 
thick brush that I was using to draw the whole shoe and now I'm just drawing the pattern with very faint um, or very light pressure and as mentioned earlier you can get very beautiful very smooth tapering strokes let's add some shadows here at the bottom something interesting happened earlier while sketching there was a dialog box that appeared saying that it's time to stretch stand up and stretch so that's from the Huion driver that's in the driver under sedentary reminder I've not seen this before battery life is rated at 18 hours in actual usage this should last for several days of use because the tablet will go into sleep mode after several minutes of inactivity the sleep time can be adjusted in the driver if this runs out of battery you can still use it while it's charging the pen is not powered by battery so you don't have to worry about battery life for the pen all right to conclude this is a beautiful looking tablet with solid build quality and fantastic drawing performance my overall experience with this is very positive i don't really have any major or even minor complaints for this so this review is very easy to make because I don't have to spend any time troubleshooting as I did not discover any glitches or issues and this is well designed and well built and performs as advertised the price of US $199 is pricey and if you extend your budget by $50 uh, let's say you have a budget of $250 you can actually get a pen display that is around 12 to 13 inches um, I have to put this now because it's quite heavy um, I don't really recommend 12 inch pen displays because they are kind of small if you are drawing for extended periods of time go with at least 13 inches so the main difference between a pen display versus a pen tablet is with a pen display you can draw on the screen the line will appear directly beneath the pen tip and it's more intuitive to draw that way with a pen tablet you have to draw on the tablet while you look at the screen but it's very easy to get used to I mean artists have been working with pen tablets for decades so what's the main selling point here this pen tablet pairs well with large displays uh, so you don't really have to spend that much time to get used to the hand-eye coordination the learning curve is very gentle and this is good for people who don't want another display for whatever reason and with a pen tablet you can set it down on the table so it's actually more comfortable to draw with the tablet on the table uh, versus drawing with a pen display where you have to hunch your back but that will depend on how you set up your pen, dis pen display yeah. with a tablet it's on the table it's flat it's very comfortable you can draw with your back straight so it's more ergonomic so those are some of the selling points and the downsides of pen tablets versus pen displays but overall as a product um, this is a very good pen tablet for drawing purposes and is something I can recommend very easily to professionals all right if you have any questions regarding this tablet let me know in the comment section below and if you have the intention to buy this tablet consider using the affiliate links that i have for you in the video description below to support my youtube channel your support makes it possible for me to continue making reviews such as the one that you are watching thanks for watching see you guys again bye